What are your prime directives? Protect the innocent, uphold the law, serve the public trust, and review cool toys. When Robocop came out earlier this year, it was inevitable that they were going to bring out some toys to go along with that movie. Yeah. Robocop has a long history of probably fairly inappropriate toy lines to, yeah. to tie into them. Uh, the original Robocop, of course, was very much an R18 movie, mm. and yet he had a cartoon and toys tying into that cartoon. This time round, at least we've got a PG-13 Robocop, and we have got some toys which tie into that. This is a company called Jada Toys. Um, I'm not aware of them having done anything previous to this. I'm sure that they mm. have, but they haven't had any licenses which have you know brought to my attention previously okay so you've got the two designs of robocop yep and the, and the movie had two different designs yeah so it was the, the classic the 1.0 yeah and the 3.0 no 2.0 because they didn't actually get around to making him into the 2.0 i think <laughs> okay um, i think they just went straight for the three pretty much yeah you know, just michael keaton said you know i want it in black <laughs> and it was in black make him more tactical make him look uh let's go with black the sculpting on a lot of the details is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem is that when you look at the all black one, it looks much more plasticky because it is right. black on black on black. And they've got a couple of bits where it's you know, a glossier black on top of the matte black. Oh, I but see. it just doesn't work the same way with the same sort of pop that the classic one does with that silver on black, which really makes it look a yeah. lot more like Robocop really. Yeah, a lot of the detail gets lost in the black one because it is yeah. just black, your eye just sees black, yeah. whereas clearly the silver and black, uh, the silver parts stand yeah. out much better. And I, I, I have to say, just looking at them straight away, mm. I prefer that silver one. And I did in the movie as well, I have to say. Yeah. Not, I'm not just being biased towards the original Robocop. Yeah. But I just like that. It's it's just got more dimensionality to it. Mm. So yeah, I think it's cooler. They come with some accessories. That uh, two they guns each. They they both come with two guns. Um, I think they are actually the same guns in both instances. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they do have guns. It's really important that he comes with his pistol at the very least. Um, mm. But the both the accessories do look quite nice. How articulate are they? They're not too bad. Um, they both share the same articulation scheme. Mm -hmm. You have a head which can swivel from side to side. There's no ball joint. Um, arms will oh, that's quite cool. go out yep. and there. Um, there is no elbow articulation. There's no wrist articulation. Mm -hmm. um, there's no waist or chest crunch or anything like that. Um, he okay. does have some articulation at the legs. So he's a, a little, little bit, bit um, robotic, you might say. You could say that, yes. He's a cyborg, you idiot! Are there any other features that are seen on these Robocops? There is. These guys both come with a light-up feature. Now you can see that there's a little button mm -hmm. just there underneath the chest, and if you press it, the eye visor lights up red. So you get that sort of uh, you know, red light in the eyes. That's very cool. Um, and of course it's the same on the uh, 3.0 as well. The toys are okay in terms of the funness of playing with them. They don't suffer too much yeah. from you know missing some articulation. Because it's Robocop, he's it's, not exactly, you know, he is springing around the place like Spider-Man or anything well, like that. Well, he, well, to be fair, he kind of oh, was. Oh, well, yeah, he did, that's right, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. To sum it up, I mean, it's good. It's good. It is good. Like the movie itself, they're inoffensive figures. Mm. They're not revolutionary, but they're nice, they do the job well enough. Yeah. Like us. Yeah. <laughs> Better alive. You're coming with me. So what do you guys think about these two toys? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Let us know in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to like this video. And Scott? Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time on OSD.